So Simon <laughs> Saint's wearing a coat now because he's that embarrassed about well, how he, fat he is. It's not, it's freezing down here. Oh, shut up, you liar. Well, well, I'll take my bloody coat off. Sorry. No, don't take your coat off. No, I will. I'm not having, not having folk call me fat anymore. <laughs> fatter. Fatter. <laughs> Bollocks, yeah. New presenter. Again. Ray, come on, chip. No, he's better than you. Funny <laughs> kid, <laughs> that's how Right. Highland Park Dragon Legend. That's supposed to be diet for a week. Have you? Yeah. 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 Can yeah. I cheat now? What is this you cheat? Oh, <laughs> right. It's going to be hard this weekend. Hmm. Why are you being a dickhead this morning, eh? I think she misses you, dude. That's all it is. Cheat to hey. eat. That big dangly thing between his legs gives it away, mate. I tend not to look at it. He's got bigger balls than me, is this one. You know what is funny? Have you ever watched him come down steps? Come down here. No. Every step he bashes his balls on the steps as he comes. It's hilarious to watch in the background this big pair of plums going boing, boing, boing. Oh, I feel good, I do. Right. You going to live with Uncle Simon? (laughs) The kids would love it, dude. Oh, well, the richer, go. smokier side of Highland Park. So it's smoky, this. I've, uh, don't think I've had any of this. You got any? I can't remember. I did have some of it. It may have been that. Oh, they've got so many out. Oh, they have. It's got literally ridiculous. hundreds. Oh. But, as the show goes, Morrison's, and it was down from 42 quid to 30 so broke budget broke the budget but uh what this really means is he's too lazy to actually look for a proper one and pick one that he knew he'd like because he could take well, it and drink there was loads down at uh, morrison's there's loads on sale because like valentine's, valentine's day so i could have chose i wanted to get the bullet bourbon just so we could see a sort of an old school bourbon i've got some upstairs yeah, I haven't got any Oh, that, that's the real reason. But, as we said last week, I was going to get this, so I thought... So, yeah. really, this it. whole podcast that we have three li- three watchers to, three listeners, is actually seven. just... Seven, just, just seven, is seven now. Yeah, yeah. Is actually just you pulling a conch over Dawn so you can buy a new bottle of whiskey every week. In my defence, <laughs> I like to educate... <laughs> <laughs> this is educational, really. <laughs> No. <laughs> I think that's a terrible thing to say. You just sat on the phone, you fat git. Who is it? No, oh, it's fallen down your ass. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's there. It had fallen off, but it gone between you and the cushion. <sighs> right. Yeah. Shut up. Let's have a snoop. In other news, I got offered a really nice bottle of whiskey. I can't remember what it was now. Did you? Yeah. What was it called? I can't remember. Cool. 950 say. quid it was. And he wanted less than four fifty, but wouldn't actually give me a price. He wanted less than four fifty, but wouldn't tell you because what. Because I found it. He, he messaged me. It's a mate of mine. It wouldn't it gap it in a game of poker, believe it or not. It's all certificated and everything. Did I can't remember. I'll show you pictures later. Call it a game of poker. That. Oh, hang on. I might actually be able to find it now. Uh, you keep sniffing and start describing. I'll look for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I can describe this as it smells like an old wet wax jacket. <laughs> That's not painting nice pictures in my head, mate. <laughs> an old white old jacket. You know, like a a, 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 a wax jacket. Yeah. It's got that sort of waxy, oily kind of. <laughs> That's what this smells like. Do you know what? It rem- I had a really vile Japanese whiskey once, which I've still got in the cupboard because I just couldn't drink it. It tasted like and smelled like old plimsolls. Middleton, very rare, 1994 mm-hmm. edition. So whiskey exchange of it at 950 quid. I found a whiskey auctioneer that Maybe. sold it for 460. Right. So obviously it was going to be less than that. 
Yeah. And uh, he wouldn't give me a bloody price. Why not? I don't know, he was pissing me off. It was, I'm sure he was doing to wind me up. Do you think he didn't have it? Or? No, no, I think he had it. But yeah. I'm sure he was doing He said he's gone on shelf and he'll sit there till I'm ready to buy it. It's like, what does that mean? I don't know. The thing is, he's a, he's a mate. And I, <laughs> I can hardly say, oh, it's worth, screw all, you know what I mean? Because he's a friend anyway. Yeah, but it's but worth what you want to pay for it. Get it for. Yeah. That's all I need. I'm, I'm waiting until he desperately rings me and says, give us 200 quid, you can have that bottle. Come on, <laughs> sniff it, tell me what you think. I don't smell wet wax jacket. I you don't know, know what you're... You've been watching too many pompous, fucking airy fairy whiskey not, programs. It, it smells like an old wax jacket, am I? You sure you know the smell like dog? No. It's got that, that sort of rubbery... I th- it smells light. Well, like it's... Doesn't smell... <laughs> According to this, it's aged in sherry cast. Yeah, there's a bit of sweetness. It wouldn't say it's as strong as there was last week. Uh, you could really smell the sherry last week, where you can't on this. It does say it's smokier, which it's got it's still quite light on colour for a smoky yeah, whiskey. For a sherry whiskey as well. This is the uh, I've tried over the weekend to hydrate, but it's still not working colour. Or is this, I've had enough water? This is, you know what, I'm not doing so bad. Right, yeah. good. This is, uh, I'm not is doing this so bad. you are doing so bad? Because if that might be, you look like this. Well, it's definitely it's first pee in the morning, bad. but it's not is first it? pee in the morning after a night out. No, that's that's just, uh, I didn't drink as much water as I should have done. Your kidneys must be in a shocking state, mate. My kidneys are red, you know they are. No, oh, actually, if you stick it. Yeah, but you don't fall there. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got to be careful, I don't. It's just snooze it. it. it been, oh, I don't. Big, big I, smells. I was having a drink the other night and it went down wrong all. I did it. Oh, fuck no. You were drinking? Yes. What were you drinking? Uh, I started on... You did what? You started? Yeah. I started on... David doesn't drink. He's had whiskies in his cupboard for years. I started, touch. started on... I started, I started on the uh, thingy from last week. Oh, the, uh... yeah, Jura. Jura. Um, then I had a Glen Philip that <laughs> our child's got us for Christmas. I went out and bought a bottle of that uh, Jura on my way back from here. <laughs> so I so started with that. Then I had a Glen Philip uh, that my daughter had bought for Christmas because we haven't tried it yet. And then I had a Hibiki. And then I decided to try and inhale the Hibiki up through my lungs. Nice. That, that worked, <laughs> did it? Yeah. That's a very interesting <laughs> experience. <laughs> Right, I take it back. It, it, it's lost that waxy, oily smell to it. I see what you get with the oily. I can, I can see that there's a, there is, yeah, I get you there. It's not smacky in the face, smoky no, like you know, it's, it's quite or... light. It's quite fresh. There's a, there's a hint of heat, sort of, you know, that that whiskey alcohol smell. Maybe I've been watching too many videos here. I know you're gonna call me, but I got this image of wet mown grass. Out. <laughs> no, really Get out. But they did. <laughs> nope. Do you not think it could be do? gone? Leave yeah. this room. But it, that was the image I got in the head. Is no that freshness. That sort there's, of there's a there's a there's a slight citrusy. There's almost possibly a little bit of a floral to it. Yeah, yeah. probably comes from the sherry casting. Um, um, it's no weird statement. I've got so I've got no age on it. No wet dog or wet grass or anything wet at all at the moment. What about the pee? Wait, are you getting that? Do you know what I'm called people? No. Puddy says there's no one here called Pete. No. Oh. No one called Pete, is there not? No. Yeah, I'm not getting much of a Pete smoke either. Go on, let's try it. Uh. Well, I'm getting smoke now. Subtle though, it's not ever. What do you think? Maybe my palate's changing, I don't know, but I don't find that heavy. All right, comparison wise, it's not. Was it that Boon Harbour? You? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was sort of stick your face in a bonfire sort of smoky, whereas this is. It's pleasantly smoky. Yeah, you know that sort of smoky smell you get off your clothes after you've been near a bonfire the following morning? Oh, that's nice. That's actually all that. 
gonna tell you what I'm. Oh, dear, I'm just gonna show up there. I, I would. You're de definitely going down a little rapid here. Um, it's got a bit of alcohol burn. It's not short, but it's not overly sustained either. You know what I mean? It sort of sits on the palate for a little bit and then yeah. just ebbs away, nice and smooth. It, it's not right. It's got definite three characters to it. The, the smell, the, the <laughs> I'm sorry. It's one called Pete, one of these characters. Yeah, one's called Pete. <laughs> it's one of Gardner. <laughs> yeah, he has a really old wax jacket. Tells terrible smell to it. It starts off on the nose. There's nothing in your nose, it's in your fucking mouth. It's unpleasant either. I, I'm not... I don't mind the smell, it smells nice. It smells quite inviting actually. The taste is much better. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't find anything issue with the smell at all. It really does sort of coat your, coat your throat. Yeah, there is that. That waxy, kind yeah, of yeah. oily. The, there is the oil smell you get when you smell it, you taste when you drink it. That. Yeah, yeah. First one's quite warm, and second one is nowhere near. It, it, it more just complements what's gone before. Complements, that's a good way of describing it. Everything sort of follows quite yeah, nicely. Yeah, I was just about to say, it sort of flows from the smell yeah. into the taste and builds without being, you know, it's not distinctive, really. It, it, it's pleasant. Yeah, if I did a blind tasting, I'm not sure I'd know. You wouldn't know what it was. Highland Park. No. In fact, I'd be going Bomo. That's where I'd go to. Because it's got that briny, salty, smoky kind of edge to it that Bomo tends to have. You think? Yeah. And I suppose there is a very, very subtle hint of brine, but I wouldn't say it was anything that you'd have to be looking for it to find it. Do you think? I think, yeah. I find it a bit nondescript. That uh, Jura. I find it a bit generic. That. I think if you if you hit it with Pete, you've either got to be. Australia. Massively, massively Australia. peaty to yeah, yeah to get away to, to make it. I mean, I'm go I'm guessing they're going for that introduction to peat. So it's got yeah, the sweetness it's of sherry casking. It's got the the sort of smell, the flavour of peat, but without that <laughs> smacky in the face kind of thing. To me, it, it's trying to do too many things, and as a result, not doing any of them very well. It's a bit like an odd job, man. Yeah. I would have to give you that, David. Yeah. It, you know, it's not quite typical Highland Park. It's not quite light and fresh and fruity or any of that. There's a hint of that, but it doesn't really carry over. Yeah, there's a hint of smoke, but it's not really got a smoke. You're going to be going, oh, that's got a smoke to it. it. It just sort of... And um, it kind of just sits there. Yeah, and, you know, Dragon Legend, I'd expect something... I mean, all right, with the money, you know, I wouldn't expect something to be a bit more stronger in what it does, but at the same time, I'd expect a bit more from it. But it's, <laughs> the regular sort of 12-year-old, the sort of standard one, isn't anywhere near as peaky as that. They've got a tap. No, it's a lot was, lighter and fresher yeah. is the normal home. So for Island Park, it is definitely a step towards the dark side, I suppose, but... Uh, do you know what I'd say? Save your money and go for the Talisker. I, I can't be joking. If you, if, no, if you wanted a peat whiskey, I wouldn't fucking bother your ass. Because I honestly yeah. think you'll be disappointed. Even if you want a sort of interpeated whiskey, I don't think this is it. No, I don't. It, it's just not. I'm really sorry, Alan Park, but I Because I generally you're... like your whiskeys, mate. I really yeah. do. But I think you've balls up on this one. I think they're trying to be too many things to too many people. Yes, probably. I, I would agree. With all the sort of special Viking sort of connotations and the the All Fathers and the How Fathers and well, I think one of the things fathers. is the 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 four and that range did incredibly well, didn't they? I mean, they released at seventy quid and they're up to a thousand pound now, and I think they've tried to repeat that, and as a result, they've watered down a little bit what they do. I mean, I, I appreciate that they're using the heritage of the Orkney Islands, 
and the fact that there were, you know, the Vikings were there for 600 years and the Vikings, so. But there's were only they? so much, eh? Were they? Well, yeah, from what I've read. And that part of the island, they were there 600 years. So, there's, 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 so what there made you a... read up the history of the Orkney Islands? It, it, it's the Viking connection. Did your porn connection break down? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, there was no porn up on that day. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I quite like the association between that. Oh, you you, you I, buy I, into the story. I've been I, watching the uh, the uh, Viking series on uh, Amazon Prime. Well. I, I I think. I think I think Highland Park have hit a bit of a winner in the sense that they bought into this story, and you buy into the story, and you buy Highland Park because of the names and the styling. But and let me just—I think, unfortunately, the let me just show you the bottle, yeah, exercising commercialism. That is a fantastic bottle for a bottle. Yeah, it's it's a beautifully packaged, fantastic, especially bottle. for a budget whiskey. I just. For me, doesn't quite deliver, does it? I think your money's probably better spent Metallica. I I would say that it is definitely a fur coat and no Mickey's whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It's got yeah. all you know. It, it's it's got all the flash and the brand, and, and Highland Park has become in recent years has become a bit of a brand. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, more so than it used just to be. Narrow it down a bit, boys. And Don't. I just, I think it, it's... Don't do as much. Do better. That seems to be something that's being produced for the sake of producing it. Instead of a company that's taken pride in the craft of the drink they're making, they've gone, we need to do something a bit peatier. Yeah. And we need, we've got this idea. It wouldn't surprise me if the name of the whiskey in the bottle came before the bloody whiskey did. From marketing PR genius. Yeah, well. and so they've gone, right, we need to find something to fill this bottle. And what goes with someone who uh, defeated the dragon? What goes with dragon legend? Or what goes with dragon's breath? And that he, drank his, he drank his blood and got uh, wisdom. Is this what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Let I'm me not getting no wisdom off that. I'm not getting any wisdom. <laughs> oh, come on, wisdom and prophecy. So there were his, uh, from drinking the dragon's blood. In fact, he licked the dragon's blood from its thumb and received powerful gifts of wisdom and prophecy. I see that as commercialism. <laughs> I'm completely mad. No, not but just, just No, it has. It's some marketing boys sat there. Yeah, it just doesn't. Go on. We're going to do it in a black bottle. The image has come. It feels like the image yeah. has come before the whiskey and they've done yeah. that. They've we got, need to find someone yeah. to shove in this. What can we use in our uh, legend series? This is who we're going to use, how we can we fit a whiskey to profile that. Yeah. And listen, Funny, stop if it means more people drink whiskey, I'm all happy for that because the more whiskey, the better it is for everyone. <laughs> Chop it. It's true. Uh, you, you experiment with what you, what you can, but don't pretend it's anything other Mr. Ward, are you encouraging alcoholism in our viewership of seven people? Yes, I am. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but the, the more that they experiment and the more they play around with it, the if they do that and go, do you know what? I, it's not that good. Let's try something else. That's yeah. how good things are done. And I agree. And, and I would be very forgiving if this was an experimental whiskey, but it's not, is it's it? Not, it, not. it, it it's it's let's like fill something that we've... 2017, created. I believe, this was put out. But it, it's like, let's, let's come up with something that fills a gap in our marketing profile. We've done this, we've done that. What yeah. else can we squeeze? And it does very much seem that from the thoughts here, they've gone, how much more can we squeeze out of this? Yeah. I guess it's like the, the sort of God stuff, the Odin, the Thor, the Loki, the, there was a Freya one. There was a Freya one, yeah. yeah. So they've spent some money on that. They were probably four. older. So you're looking at 17 year olds in that, and you look at this and it's an away statement. So, so that makes you think that they're playing around with something. Whereas the, <laughs> the 12 year old is on offer at the same place at Morrison's for 25 quid. Why didn't you get that? Because we said we were going to try these. 
I'd save you five quid. And... Well, you're taking it home at least. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't so bad because there are days when I think... You'll give it to the people you don't like. No, no one never comes up to my house to drink. Well, that's a visitor's whiskey. I don't get any visitors. But you'd get that out, they'd look at the bottle, think they were getting something special, and we'd yeah, 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 yeah. to say, Ugh, what's this? Yes, yeah, <laughs> And then you'd get the Talisker out afterwards, after they'd said the light. Like, after they've gone. <laughs> then key <Yeah>. yourself. <laughs> that's definitely yeah. a visitor's whiskey. That's got loads of flash with very little delivery. And yeah. Most people would be too embarrassed to say, well, you know what? I'm I saying, know you will whiskey. say this, but I find very much it's, what my day's gone like. There are days where I get home and I've come back to work so it's an odd day and it's like, oh, I feel sorry for you. Cheers, mate. I feel sorry for you. three days a week you actually have to work. <laughs> Thank you. The place I'm working is pretty great, actually, but uh, it's still working. It. But I'll get home and I'll think, do you know what? I want bourbon tonight. I want that sort of, you know, the hot pot where you it's comfort food for... Spaghetti, because it's comfort food. I think, anyway, I, I think the bourbon's that. This is on the other hand. If you look outside and we've had a bit of snow recently, and it's like, oh, do you know what? I want warm up. And Talisker's that. This will be that when we Talisker's gone. Yeah, it's just no. Save your money and get the twenty five. You're buying a badge, you know, effectively. Yeah. You are buying a badge with that. It is unfortunate, but you are. I've very rarely been disappointed by Highland Park. Um, yeah, I've got to say, that's true. Generally speaking, the bulk of what I have had of their offerings has always been quite positive. But Yeah, I've had a few Highland Parks from sort of 18 downwards. Say that, doing this is making me more... Picky. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to say. Yeah, definitely much more analytical about what I drink and when I drink it. Yeah. And there are certain wishes you'll go back to because the favourites are yours. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you have you have your staples, don't you, where you've always got a bottle of them. The Vicky? All, yeah, mine the Vicky, without a doubt. I'll, I'll always have a bottle of Vicky. Yeah. But there are ones that have... Yeah. The, that... We're going for the... No, that Swedish one. You Mac, like. Mac and... The, no. Yeah, that was the Mac... No. Mac Nevin. No. no. Well, it was something, it was no, it wasn't. It was something, it was something weird, like, um... Oh, that one I tried here? Yeah. No, that was the experimental big uh, one just outside of Gotham there. Yeah, but what was the name of it? I'm sure it's Mac something. The, 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 the whiskey's... No, the whiskey, the name on the bottle. Oh, right. Ooh, I don't know. Elementals or something like that. It was something, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that that actually could be a staple. Nine six three will very much be a staple in my cupboard now. What would nine six three? You didn't like it. I didn't think that was. Yeah, it was far too, far too uh, peaty for my taste. And yeah, I don't generally. I prefer to not like peat, but I really like that nine six three. I think there's peaty and smoky, and I think we're different, and no, we disagreed smoky. on this, didn't we? Yeah, because I smoky. think yeah. Whereas that, I get the peaty sort of briny. Yeah salty flavours. Again, it's from Orkney. You're going to get that coastal influence coming through. But yeah, but it, it sort of... But the Talisker does it better. I'm really it, sorry. It just sort of promises a lot and delivers fuck off, to be quite honest. <laughs> I hate to be disappointed with 30 quid, because it is 30 quid down from. And for 30 quid, you're better off getting the 12-year-old, and that's 25. That 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 is quite literally buying brand. That is quite literally buying because of the badge on the label. Um, yeah. It is not buying for taste. It is not buying for the quality of the drink. I'm afraid to say that it is true. And I didn't think I'd ever say that about Adam Bar because I am quite a fan. Do you think it came in a less attractive bottle? It wouldn't be as critical. No, because it's still a bit shit. I think it, it... But would be would be as critical if it wasn't such a... I, I, I get I what you're saying because it, it, it sets yeah it sets a certain scene. Yeah, it does. It'd be like getting in a, a fancy car to find out it's kitted out inside like a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> or if it's like you get in a fancy car and it actually is a Ford Fiesta. But you know what I mean? It'd be Ford like, Fiestas? 
No, but it'd be like getting yeah, in, yeah. you know, you, you're spending £70,000, £80,000 on a highfalutin fucking BMW and you get in it and it hasn't even got fucking Bluetooth. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it doesn't have. The certain standards you expect yeah. for us, for, uh, and, and. Or it doesn't have Android Auto, it just has Apple. Well, BMW, listen to me. Who, who has Apple? You're, not, you're buying a VW anyway. Yeah, back. Yeah. You buy it, yeah, or not? Yeah. I know. Definitely. It's a toss up between that and the. You are having a woman. A, yeah, no, I am. I agree. It's either that or the A Class saloon. The A Class is an ugly fucking looking car. The Mercedes? Yeah. I really like it. You like your massive cruisers? I don't, yeah. I don't. Yeah, but I still think in a compact car, the A-Class is not a pretty car. I think it's got better than the new model. I think the newer model of the A-Class is a good-looking car from the back, from the front. Mm. If you catch a bit of a side profile, depending what... The Golf's a nice-looking car. But Don's got one. So do we so have... You, so you can't have two Golf's, is that what it is? <laughs> I'd go for the TIG one. I've got a nice Merc for sale, if you want. Yeah, yeah, I've got one. Yeah, yeah, but it's a capital is one. Yeah. You liked it last time you got it. I did, it was good. But the wind in my hair sort of thing didn't really work. <laughs> I had a tale that you went out with it and dropped the uh, hood as well. Yeah, I did. Nice. Well, yeah, you have got to do these things, don't you? Yeah. Right around that tiny little village with people going, more on. <laughs> I was that dickhead in the convertible with the heaters on full blast because it was fucking freezing. Do you but know what? It's, I'm selling it, so I have to have a last class. I have a feeling that way too much thought, as we've said, been put into the beautiful bottle. The branding, the idea. And the story behind it. And not enough into the drink. And less thought it. has been put into the, the, the drink itself, which is a shame. And people will buy it because it says Island Park, because it says Dragon yeah. Legend, because it's in a black bottle. And because the Thor and Loki suddenly jumped up in astronomical prices. And, and the other thing is people will buy it and people will say it's good because they think they have to say it's good because of how it's presented. I can't. No, I can't do it. Deeply disappointed. I was looking forward to this. And I think I'm only disappointed as much as I am because of the bottle and the packaging. I expected something nice. better. Yeah, but it's not even a nice drink. Uh, it's all right. It's mm. all right, but I wouldn't buy it again. No. And I'd have to say, even for 30 quid out there, there are cheaper, better whiskies at year. I'd buy a bloody little market. thing before I bought that. Would you? For taste. for taste. Wow. I can get two bottles of little. Yeah, you could get the, uh, you get the Aldi as well. Mm. You could get two bottles of the Aldi. No, for what for what you for what you paid for that? Yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah, nice try, but must try harder. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. No, buy the Talisker Storm or Sky, much better, and for twenty five pounds at Morrison's because that was there today. Hey, what I had the other day was really nice. Um, the Welsh one and. Oh, Penderin. Or yeah, Penderin, like the legend. Did you? Very nice. Yeah. yeah I'm quite impressed with that. And it's not an expensive drink either. No. They, uh, I think Asta's got that on offer as well. About 25 yeah. quid. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, the yeah. Island Park, I quite feel guilty for saying it, but I wouldn't buy it again. New plot! Oosh! Get out of the ticket over. Bill, Bill Rue.